Okay, welcome to build video number five. So the next stage is getting your heavy steel metal plate, okay, as you can see here, and your piece of aluminium extrusion. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, uh, oh sorry, before I get ahead of myself, we also want four M310 bolts, four M3 T-nuts, and eight M3 washers. So the way this works, if you've never used T-nuts before, it can be a bit tricky. So you want two washers on the end of the bolt, or screw. Okay, then you want to put the extrusion, let me get this right, as you're looking at it on the right hand side at the back, okay? You don't want it that way on the left hand side because everything will be reversed. You want it on the right hand side, okay? So you'll feed a screw through, you'll mount a T nut, on it. then you'll do exactly the same. So all you're doing is just, I don't know if you can see that, just screwing it on a little bit. So let's put that down while we load up the other uh, screws with the washers. One. Two. Just check everyone's got two. Oh, we've got two, 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 and looks like I've got an, an extra washer out. So I'll leave that over there for now. So exactly what we did there. Put it through, turn it over. Now, as you can see, it wants to go on with the little square bit towards the screw, not the other way around, okay? That's it. Then we'll do the other two. One. Okay. And the last one. We don't want to do them too much. Okay, now turn it over. What you want to try and do now is make all these T nuts straight. As you can see, you should be able to see on the camera, they're all straight now, or well, they will be. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to slot our extrusion over. And T nuts. Okay, so what you've got to do now is keep this extrusion pinned against the aluminium, um, the steel plate. Keep the screwdriver, and what should happen is as you turn these, the T nuts inside will turn round and then grip. theory we should be able to look down and see it's twisted round don't know if you can see that on camera okay before it was level parallel with the hole now it's twisted and that's what causes it to grip so we'll do the same on the other ones Now, we don't want to do these too tight yet because we're going to be adjusting it in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to stand it up. What we want to happen is the end of the extrusion to fit flush with the with the build with the ground in effect here, the same as the steel. So in this case, I've just got to 
This one will up a little bit. And just slide it down. Oh, don't want to slide, so I'll do a bit more. There we go. Did you hear that slide? There we go. So then, if you've got it level, it should stand up. Now you can tighten them up. Now what you might find, because the steel cut sometimes isn't completely flat, don't worry about that, because that's what the extrusion is there for, if, to flatten it out. And then you should have a nice balanced part. So as you can see, as I'm looking at it, the extrusion is on the right hand side. You don't want it that way on this side here. Otherwise I'm going to be back to front. It should stand up because it's nice and level. There you go. Turn it over. Build video number five. Done.